This is a real quick light review of Microsoft's new Office behavior available in Office 2007 beta which you can download from their website free of charge. Now I'm no Microsoft fanboy. I'm a user of OpenOffice and I have to tell you I was not encouraged when I first found out that Microsoft was embracing some of the open document standards and their XML based system but I have to tell you the new behavior is absolutely astounding. It's bloatware, it's gargantuan, it will take a lot of space on your hard drive and a lot of resources. I'm running this on a 1.6 gigahertz processor. This is the Celeron Pentium Mobile and it's going to, uh, to show you in just a second how much it abuses your system. I do have 1.2 gigabytes of RAM in this bad boy. Not a screaming fast laptop, but a functional laptop and this thing will take it to a screeching halt. I want to show you the home of this product. It's very pretty, very colorful, much, much more intuitive than any office development product I've ever seen. I've never seen anything that was this pretty. Uh, all of your functions that you might ever use just very stylistically given to you. Uh, your insert behavior, I mean look how gorgeous this is. Very uh, mild and very subtle changes in the interface and the colors to give you a heads up about what's going on. Real quick notes pop up to give you information. Not so fast that it blinds you from getting to the work you want to do, but quickly enough that it helps you understand what you can do with these different buttons. Very stylistic, very functional. Uh, one thing I want to show you is I'm working on a document right now that is a, it's actually an Office 2000 document. And I'm going to convert this to the latest standard and boom that's all there is and when I save it it'll no longer be in compatibility mode it is now the new, the new uh, standard which is the XML based document page layout just give you a quick look at some of these different features in Word as you can tell really really quick stuff that you can just get to very very easily uh, interfaces with other tools built in the uh, mail merge and the database interfaces are really sweet on this version. Uh, different ways to look at reviews, show your markup, reviewing, that kind of thing, and change your view. Of course, you can save their documents as web documents. I'm not a big fan of that particular behavior. And then you have an opportunity to do marketing campaigns with your business content manager for Outlook. Now, that's a new product for Microsoft and it's really nice. Again, a big resource hog and we're going to get to see just how much resource hog it is. In this product, this thing has a fantastic and overwhelming amount of tool built into it. One of the things that they've done that I'm really not happy about is buying small business services and purchasing leads from online resellers or retailers of content list is built into this tool and I can see where Microsoft is very quickly getting into the reselling of services through their office product. But I gotta tell you something, it's really nice to have this built into your system if you're gonna be one of those people that are going to use these sorts of tools. It takes you to the website and of course the small business center starts pimping their products buying sales leads, etc. You import those directly into your marketing system. You can control your marketing campaigns, your proposals, your projects, all from this interface. And you can see there's a little bit of lag time involved here. This is actually running on a Microsoft SQL 2005 server, which they do include free of charge to test and try out this product. The email client works pretty much like it always did. You just have more stuff going on and you can do more things with it. One of the nice things I've noticed about this is that you have an integrated system-wide uh, categorization and the color categorization may seem a little goofy to you but there's some advantages to that. Uh, if you research uh, contact management systems and methods of simplifying your contact with your clients you'll find this really useful. I'm not going to get into a lot of stuff but one of the things that's really gorgeous about this is the link to record feature. That really helps uh, when you're trying to track the behavior that's gone on between you and a client 
are you in a prospect? I'm not going to show any more about this. The only thing I wanted to do is to give you a look and feel for what this product is and what it does and to encourage you to try this out yourself whether you're a Microsoft fan or not.